Isaiah 41, 9 through 10. You are my servant. I have chosen you. I've not cast you off. Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What God is saying to you today through his word is that if you feel like you don't have the courage to face today, if you feel like your strength is failing you to get out of bed, there's good news because your strength and your courage does not carry you, but God's does. God is your strength. He is your courage. He tells you not to fear because he will help you and uphold you. Today, God has you, and that's a promise. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. As you trust in the Lord with all your heart, he directs your path with wisdom and clarity. Trust in the Lord because he loves you and he cares for you. Trust in him knowing that he guides you with wisdom and clarity, and that he is going to pave the way for your good and for your success because he loves you. Romans 8, 37, in all things, you are more than conquerors through him who loves you. God wants you to know that you are more than a conqueror in every situation through the overwhelming love and support of Christ. Psalm 139, verse 14. You are fearfully and wonderfully made by God, a unique masterpiece of his creation. God's saying, embrace your uniqueness. You are a masterpiece. You're fearfully and wonderfully made by him. God makes beautiful things and that includes you. Your individuality is a gift to this world. Jeremiah 29, 11 says this, God has wonderful plans for your future, plans filled with hope and purpose. Listen, trust in the marvelous plans God has for your future. Each step you take is guided by hope, purpose, and His unwavering love. Our plans get messy. They're broken, and sometimes they just fall apart. Today, choose to trust in God's plan for you. Ephesians 2.10 You are God's masterpiece, created anew in Christ Jesus for a purposeful and a meaningful life. In a minute, I'm gonna ask you to breathe in the word chosen and breathe out the word broken. Before that, I want you to know, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, Jesus loves you. And all he wants from you is to wake up loving him and loving others the way that he loves you. So let's do that. Let's breathe in the word chosen and breathe out the word broken. Philippians 4.13 You can confidently face any challenge through Christ who strengthens you. This means that your strength in Christ, it empowers you to tackle challenges with confidence. You have the ability to overcome anything that comes your way. So don't give up. You can make it. Jesus is with you through your highs and lows. Psalm 139, 